G'day viewers, hope you're all doing well. We've come to the delinquent in the Western River Arena. We've got uh, COVID Keith with us. Thank you, Minister, for taking the time out. That's not, it's a, pro, it's not a problem, uh, Lloyd. Uh, it's my honour to be even here. And how are you enjoying the tour of the basin? I am. I'm enjoying it, thoroughly enjoying it. The people are so friendly. Mm. I'm, I'm finding it difficult to get my head around what you're complaining about, but over the tour, you'll get, you, you will get me right up to speed. I mean, with beautiful sunshine and a beautiful environment, it is, it is hard for someone like yourself who very uh, rarely comes to the district to actually see what's going on. Do you think employment's an important part of our communities, Kevin? Well, you just thought about me not being here very often. Do you know how hard I work? And, and the amount of things... I've only been in the job 12 months, you know. And all the things I've achieved is incredible. But we'll touch on that later. But the environment, I love the environment. You love the environment? What about the people who care for the environment? We've lost so much employment throughout our regions here. The, the Sunrise Rice Mill was, I think it's the biggest rice mill in the Southern Hemisphere, and they've had to lay off hundreds of workers. That has flow on effects to our schools, our hospitals, all the services within our community. What do you have to say about that, Minister? Well, this is what I said to you before, you know, we've been at it, we've spent nine billion and we've nearly destroyed the whole lot. We've got another four billion. Once we've got that spent, I think we'll have achieved everything. And I don't think that even the rice mill will be here. Well, Minister, what do you think the Australian people will do for food? Last year, we ran out of Australian rice. And what's your thoughts on that? Oh, just import it. Import it, Lord. They did it last year. I mean, they complain a little bit about the taste for a start, but they get used to it. You don't think holistic production has a role? I mean, when you consider the environmental impacts of where food's grown and the management, if we're growing it in countries who don't have, you know, good healthcare standards or good worker relations or good chemical regulation, do you think that's an issue? Ah, uh, they'll, they'll get up to speed. You'd be happy with your grandchildren eating uh, a substandard product? Oh, I hope they have it up to speed by then. Well, Minister, you touched on before the environment. We've seen hundreds of thousands of hectares of on-farm environment being turned from productive wetlands, essentially, into now dust bowls where, you know, Australasian bittern, southern bell frog, all these other critically endangered species, you know, carpet pythons, they once existed on our farms and they used the waterways and the crops to actually feed, breed and be sustainable. Do you think that's uh, missing within the basin plan at all? Oh, I wouldn't have thought so. I mean, there might be a few, down a few numbers, but in general it's going pretty good. Look, look at the water here. There we are on the banks of the river in Denilikma. That is a pretty typical response for a government minister. We. Uh, we do consider about 75% of the basin privately owned, yet the government only care about the 25% that they're playing with. Well, it's not even that, because if 25% is publicly owned, the government are actually only caring about a small percentage of that. Minister, the basin plan is a train wreck. You've had MDBA's own uh, water experts leave there and go on national telly talking about it being a train wreck. You still don't see anything wrong? You think it's a train wreck? Mm -hmm. We haven't spent all the money yet. Can you imagine what it's going to be like when we've spent the next four billion? Mm. Hiroshima comes to mind, but... Um... Very similar. Mm. Anyway, thank you for your time, Minister. We'll keep on the road. Thank you, viewers.